right? I mean, people say you got a nice back yeah. end, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Do it again. I noticed during the tournament that yeah. when you were telling me to do more of the C shape, yeah. I feel like naturally because my arm when I toss kind of goes here. Yeah. So as I was doing that, I went farther back and I started tossing a little more than I do. Is that right? That's just something I noticed. Though. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. So let me get that get that straight. Like when you try to bend your arm, like what's going, the toss is going further to the left. Right, because right now my arm usually it stops here, but it goes gotcha. more here. So it was going a little bit more vertical. A little more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. I mean, it looks a lot cooler when the arm continues to go back. Yeah. You know, like like so when you toss, so you let go, you let go, and then the arm continues. It looks right. more stylish. Yeah. Like players who like let go and keep the arm down here it looks very ugly. Yeah. Okay, but. And um, as long as the arm continues to go up even a little bit, you're going to get the tilting of the shoulder. So the left shoulder is going to be above the right shoulder right. on right-handed players. Even if that continuation of the left arm is only like this much, you'll yeah. still get it. So if you release here and go to about right here, you still get the tilt. Right. Like an Isner, he doesn't go very high. He doesn't go like this. He goes about right here. Yeah. So as long as you're going up, you're good. I like that toss much better. Are you ready to rip? Yes. Here we go. That went a little bit too far to the left. You saw you lost balance afterwards? Much better. You see that? Nice looking serve. How many times did you get broken against that guy that plays for Tennessee? I got broken once in the first set and twice in the second set. Okay, that's not too bad. Because I feel like with your game, you got to be like someone to hold serve. Yeah, has to be. Yeah, that's where the serve has to come. The serve is good, but we have to make it a real weapon, you know? We can win matches with just getting one break in the set, holding serve. I will say I got a lot of free points off my slice serve, though. Okay, so... He had a kind of wacky technique on his forehand where he was like this. Oh, good, okay. So he was shanking. Well, I'm glad you recognized that. This is where the slice can come in very handy, right. you know? Very nice. Okay, do it again. Let's go a little bit higher on that toss. Higher? Yeah. I like you bending backwards, though. This is nice. Keep going. Very nice. Good work. Okay, now I'm going to alternate with some kicks. Very nice, by the way. I like that reverse C that we talked about last time. Your loading position. You're bending backwards. This is a fantastic thing. Um, now I'm going to choose to hit some kick serves to the do side. Okay. And then from over here, we're going to do slice serves to the ad side. Okay. We're going to flip the script today. We're going to take the tough serves. Okay. Because as you know, it's tougher to kick to the deuce and it's tougher to slice right. to the ad. So give me a kick from right here. Okay. Go towards the backhand side, okay? So towards the tee. Doesn't have to be on the line, but try to get it to the guy's backhand. Was that in? I think it was. Okay. Playing with fire, though. We don't like that second serve to be on the back of the line. Here we go. Okay, nice serve. Do it again. Okay, that's not bad. It's a little bit soft and short. A little bit, yeah. yeah. All right. Was that supposed to go to the back end? I was trying to. Or was it miss it? Okay, no problem. The racket face opened up a little bit. Get the toss. Needs to be more to the left. Excellent serve. Maybe the best one you hit so far. All right, now go slide over. Go back to flat serve. Load the body with that backward bend, okay? See how much more pace you get on there? The body helps out. There it is. And it's a, like it's easy power. It's almost like as if you don't have to do anything, right? It happens naturally. All right, keep loading. Come on, keep bending backwards. Okay, now go take it out wide to the backhand. Absolute bomb. And now give me a slice, okay? Slice down the T. Let's see what happens. Okay, remember on the slice, we talked about this last time. We decided to hit the flat and the slice from the same spot from 12 o'clock. Remember that? Yeah. There's an advantage on the slice when you hit it from 12. You know why? Because it, it, while it's, it is easier to hit a slice from like 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock, because naturally the racket will continue to go towards the, the right, so you get that lateral swing path naturally. However, um, when you are doing um, chin-ups, ever done chin-ups? Yes. The wider your grip is, the weaker you are, right? So when you're hitting surfs from over here, the body kind of gets disengaged and it's more the arm working, so it's more difficult to make power. So you have more strength the closer you hit to your core. So 12 o'clock area is a stronger area, but that's not the only advantage 
why you should try to hit a slice of 12 is because think about it this way if you uh, hit a slice of 12 you got more room here to go to the words of side when you hit it here there's not that much room the arm eventually runs out of space yeah. but from here you got a lot more room on this side to go this way okay so you get more range of motion so slice it from 12 here we go do it again okay it's not bad but i want you to slide that toss a little bit more towards yeah one o'clock but also now you're doing something where it's like a lot of players do this they try to make slice with the arm and they forget to engage their body. Yeah, so they just focus on them going around the ball like that. They just forget to do the rest, the, you know, the power sources on the serve. So don't make slides with your arm, make it with the whole body. Okay. So nothing changes. You're still bending backwards. You're still loading the same way you do on your flat. And on top of that, I want you to rip the slice. Because okay. naturally the slides will have more pace. I mean, right. sorry, less pace. Less pace. Yeah, it's naturally a weaker serve because we're making the ball spin more. So it's going to be like 10, 15 miles an hour slower than your flat if you hit it with the same amount of effort. Okay? okay? So go for it. Slide it more towards the, the, the 12 o'clock area. That was, maybe, that was the best one so far. Do it again. That's not bad. Come again. Okay, it's still kind of like spinny, right? It's a little flat, I think. Well, it's like a mixture of like either flat or there's yeah. still some kind of got a little bit of spin on there so what we got to do is let's try to get the toss a little bit more in front of you front. okay and just you got to realize visualize going towards see that door right there yeah. and the net post you go more towards that door right there okay. and that's where you get sliced on it because now we're going to be making the racket go more this way okay and throw it in front okay do it again a little better come again okay you know what happening probably was probably happening is that because you're throwing it at 12 it's a little bit of the kick mechanics are kicking in you know that sounds weird kick mechanics are kicking in but you're not you're a little bit more sideways at contact and your your racket is most likely a little bit more towards the side and you're going you're going like this a little yeah. too much all right so let's just also make sure that we rotate into the ball just like you do on the flat serve. And give me a one flat serve real hard, okay? Go flat serve, big pace. Okay, now go slice. They still got kick on it. Do it again, slice. Okay, that was more of a slice because you threw the ball a little bit more to the right. So the issue is that, you know, you're still uncomfortable slicing from 12 because a kind of an accidental kick happens when you, when you throw it at 12. Right. So there's something that we can work, we can work on. Although I do have a question on my kick serve, is yeah. my toss at 12? Well, you can slide it a little bit more towards 11.45. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more towards the left. Give me a kick from here. Like that was more at 12, but you can go a little bit more past 12 and see what happens. Past 12. Give me, see, actually, let's pick up like 10 balls. Let's do a few more serves. For example, in the first set, yeah. it was, I was serving down 4-5. Yeah. So I was serving the same set. Yeah. A double fault on the first point and a double fault on the second point. Okay. And those are the only two double faults I have in the moment. And you think the reason for that is the toss? I'm asking. I, I don't know. I haven't seen you play. So it's hard for me to say definitely what that is, what it is. But when I saw you play for the first time last time, okay? Here, put these, put these on here. I, let's go back over there. What, I did think the toss was your biggest issue. But, you know... The biggest issue that you had last week has already gotten better was the toss was going too far over to the left on all serves. Now, w whether that was the cause when you were down, probably not. You were probably a little bit tight maybe and you tightened up, you know. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just put in the work, put in the hours, put in, like, just keep practicing serves and it's going to be fine, trust me. You got a nice serve already. All right, let's go back to... Uh, kick you asked me about the kick toss let's see it okay so that's a little bit past 12 maybe like 1150 it's slightly maybe more over but it's pretty much in the same area but you can do think of it long term as like being able to hit all serves from the same spot it's going to be a big disguise as far as power it's probably the most optimal way to do it too down the road but for now if there's slight discrepancies it's okay too
All right, let's go back to the slice. Throw it more in front. Racket needs to go towards the side. Remember, visualize this. Well, like you're going towards the side, and then bring it back around, have the, the palm of your hand up, the, the strings of the racket up towards the sky. Like this, watch. Here, this is the visualization. That way, and then this way. Yes. This is what's gonna make slice. Okay, it's not bad, but you're still throwing too far to the left. Yeah, it's going past 12. Here we go. That was a little better. Do it again. Come on, you got this. Okay, that was probably the best slice you've done so far. You saw that the, the bounce of the ball was a little bit more shallow. It didn't necessarily curve because you're standing very far over. It's going to be tough to make it curve that way when you're standing there. Because the ball has a severe rightward trajectory from your perspective, but that was a better slice serve. You'll see the ball more skid afterwards rather than, than pop up and bounce up. Having said that, let's slide over towards the middle a little bit more. Right there, okay, good. Last one. That was more of a kick. All right, give me another one. Yeah, last one. Come on. Big slice, big body involvement, big power. Come on, rip this one. That's probably the best slice you hit today. I think that was a slice. You think? I'm, I'm, I guarantee you that was a slice. And it hit the line. All right, but still I feel like you could have hit it harder. I could have. I still feel like your, your flat serve has got the most action out of all these serves. By action, I don't necessarily mean pace. Action is the whole system working to make power. Yeah, my whole body is going into it. Exactly right. All right, we'll keep working, man. You're doing good. Okay. Nice job. Forehand. Back to me. Come on, back to me. Good. Get in. Put away. Oh, you popped it up. Another set. Back up. Don't run under the ball. Next to the ball. Come on. Good. On the run. Come. Back in. Come on. Get in there. Come. Aggressive. Attack. Another round. You got to make the shot. If you don't make the shot. Hey, fight, fight, fight. Come on, no giving up over here. Come, down. Back to me. Back to me. Come on, don't worry about that. Backhand. Forehand, come. Attack it. And put away. Okay, here's the thing that I want you to understand. 